I would like to begin by making reference to A Course in Miracles. And for us to clearly understand that A Course in Miracles is the essence of Christianity with the wisdom of the East. It's a modern day message from God to mankind. It's an agent of healing. This world we live in, this massive panorama of innumerable separate bodies, all moving through separate places and separate times. This world of suffering, lack, limitation, sacrifice, littleness, feeling deprived, lonely, afraid, depressed, despondent, and disillusioned. This world of old age and death is an illusion. It's not reality at all, but only a dream. And the purpose of A Course in Miracles is to awaken up from the dream and recognize that reality is a oneness which transcends distinctions, differences, and change beyond time. The goal of life is to wake up, to unloose our attachments, and awaken into unlimited bliss. So how do we approach A Course in Miracles? which is a tool, an aid, to support us in our awakening, actually in our remembering. First you come, you approach it with an open mind, open heart, and empty hands, and willingness. You then start by simplifying your life bringing order and righteousness to your life, honoring you. You're letting go of things that are non-essential and stepping back from the momentum of me, mind, and more. Honesty is required in order to know the truth. So we have to come in honesty to the source that gave us life. We wept because we did not understand. Your sight is being restored now, and you can see. Within each and every one of us is everything we need for our advancement because you're advancing into light. And honesty does not say to what you say. It means consistency. Nothing you say contradicts what you think or do. No thought opposes any other thought. No word lacks agreement with another. That is the trait of honesty. Be wholehearted. To wholeheartedness is given the wisdom. No plans. Don't project. You don't know what the lesson will reveal to you. Just be present. 
You know, we can read the whole book without having read the first lesson. Remain open and willing, be present to receive the miracle of the lesson. Otherwise, it's just another preoccupation, something to do. You're stepping out of time into timelessness. Be patient and loving with yourself. And if you want to know if you're making progress, ask yourself, am I more loving? Am I less judgmental? Am I more tolerant? Do I have more energy? Am I less provoked? Am I free from the conditioning of anger, fear, and greed? Whatever is troubling you, know love has the answer. Honesty means you're not in conflict with anyone or anything. There is no doubt, only certainty, security, and confidence. And if you want to know if what you're doing is right, does it feel right? Does it bring you joy? The rightness is a right idea. If it's right, you're certain it's of God. Every loving thought is a right thought. It does not come from man-made rules and ideas. If you're uncertain, it's because you have not made up your mind. There is a sense of uncertainty and doubt. Nothing can affect a person who is with rightness because there's no, no, no strain or stress. There's a sense of ease and joy. When you are with rightness, it means you have integrity, good, firm morals and values and conviction. Because you're using the tool of A Course in Miracles. To use your mind in the right way. And those right ideas that are already there within your mind are flowing through you. Bring an order and righteous living to your life. Order is perfection. It's creator on all levels. And the more solid you are on the inside, the less the externals will affect you. When you recognize your divinity, your wholeness, your true self, as a body of light. You're doing what you love and loving what you do. Your life has purpose. The role of A Course in Miracles is transformation of consciousness. It's for you to have a change of mind about the meaning of the world. It's sacred. It does, not, it does not preach. So what is the difficulty students have with A Course in Miracles? Having been a teacher and student for 24 years, 
and facilitator of classes. They are trying to learn the course. The course is to be lived. You use the words to bring you to the actual state of being, of recognizing what I am. Intellectual concepts cannot reveal the fullness of life. Only wisdom can. And wisdom is the knowledge of God. The Course teaches us we're not concerned with superficial knowledge, but in bringing about a transformation in you that is in accordance with the truth of what you are. What am I? I am love, light, and wisdom eternally. Intellectual concepts helps us to understand and manipulate the external world of form. You're removing the blocks that are blocking the awareness of love's presence. But we seem to treat it the way we treat everything else, casual. It's your life. Its aim is a radical shift in your perception, in how you see, because you think with thought and you see with thought. And we see what our thoughts are projecting. It's, of course, in mind training. Training the mind in a systematic way, other than the way it has been trained, which is non-training. You're slowing down the fast, restless, rushing pace of the mind. Do not be in a hurry to read the lesson. Read slowly. You do not know what the lesson is going to do for you. Read with one intent to know the truth. Reading quiets the mind. Read it as a co-creator and see how it begins working for you instead of against you. My suggestion, based on my personal experience of many years, early morning and again at bedtime, it's an aid to help you reach your native home. Again, because you're shifting from time to timelessness. To be still and do nothing is one of the highest virtues. We live lives of such stimulation. Our rest is not rest. The senses are always clamoring for something. What did the lesson do to you? Did you receive the wisdom of the lesson, the truth of the lesson, the truth of what the words represent, the vitality of the lesson, the energy of the lesson? It's about your salvation. And salvation is mind change. The emphasis is not on the words, but what the words are conveying to you. We certainly know that it's not a course in how to manifest more money. It's a course in cause and effect. And it's cutting straight through to the core essence of what you are. 
So you either accept it or reject it. There is nothing in between. Total freedom or total bondage. You are here in time to express the essence of what you are. And your true self cannot manifest where there's turmoil. Turmoil is a way of the, 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 the source of life tapping on your shoulder saying, I am here and I am with you always. Your true self needs clear vessels, channels to pour through. like oil poured from one vessel into another. No obstruction, no interference. It's your divine right in a physical body to experience yourself as you truly are, a body of light. The body's eyes were made to look on error because the body's eyes they see only form. They cannot see beyond what they were made to see. Trust and know that you are being taken care of. Your senses must be turned inward in order to see the beauty that surrounds you. And the Course teaches us, God does not share his function with a body. My happiness and my function are one. The body is not your home, but an aid to help you reach your home, where love abides. Our part is to simply Allow the energy of God I am, your true self, to direct your efforts. You know, part of my own experience 24 years ago, starting out with A Course in Miracles, there was this deep desire within me simply to know the truth. I want to know the truth. What am I and what am I on this planet to do? And in the beginning stages of my development, I've read out of A Course in Miracles books every day, twice a day, for 10 years. It's your weapon of wisdom. It's bringing you home to your natural state. So you can live the life you were created to live. One that is purposeful, rewarding, fulfilling, and office peace. For thousands of years, sages have sought liberation from suffering and direct contact with reality by ascending the heights of their own consciousness. A Course in Miracles adopts an Eastern practice of this world and of true reality. The purpose of the Course is the discovery of your true self. It was really sent to open the path of light to us and lead us step by step through the evolving process. For many of us, 
We just do not recognize its value. Universal mind has tossed us a lifeline. Grab a hold of it and float effortlessly to a safe harbor where you're safe forever and forever from the winds of fear. Allow it to show you how to live, not to survive. I've often said to students, if there's nothing you read, nothing ever that you read out of A Course in Miracles books, you need to read chapter 23, The War Against Yourself. And chapter 12, The Holy Spirit's Curriculum, Looking Within. Because you see what you expect, and you expect what you invite. Your perception, the Course teaches us, is the result of your invitation coming to you as you send for it. Remember always that you see what you seek. For what you seek, you will find. And that which you seek is seeking you. The ego finds what it seeks, and only that. It does not find love, for that is not what it is seeking. Of course, it teaches us, yet seeking and finding are the same. And if you seek for two goals, you will find them but you will recognize neither. You will think they are the same because you want both of them. You must look in before you look out. As you look in, you choose the guide for seeing and then you look out. This is why you find what you seek. Chapter 21, The Responsibility of Sight. I am responsible for what I see. I choose the feelings I experience. And I decide upon the goal I would achieve. And everything that seems to happen to me, I ask for and receive as I have asked. Ask for what will strengthen you, not weaken you. Only love is strong because it's not divided. Love is whole and you are awakening, remembering your wholeness. To remember is to restore to your memory what is already there. It's already there because it was put there by God. You are perfect, whole, and complete. You are a perfect expression of divine love and wisdom. And your freedom lies in knowing the truth of what you are. Your freedom lies in wholeness, not in separation. We've separated ourselves from our true reality. Activities for sale everywhere, but stillness isn't. Mm -hmm. 
as you bring this awareness into every activity of your life, everything becomes sacred, significant, sanctified, and whole. Because you're under no laws, but the law of love, light, and wisdom. And as you use the law correctly, all of your desires come into manifestation. Do not violate the law. For when we do, we shut ourselves off from the flow of pure energy. Love waits on welcome. It cannot enter where it is not welcomed. If it's not coming in, it's because it is not going out. Lose yourself in love. And always remember, I am oneself. There is no other. Only I am.